new project to explain Spain. Hello and welcome once more to Explain, the place, the YouTube channel, the YouTube videos, the social media videos where I try to explain Spain to those who are abroad or simply don't uh, have the time to read Spanish newspapers, Spanish media. Explain, Spain, that's Explain. So today's is kind of an urgent uh, program here because I'm going to try to explain to you what's going on in Spain. You probably have seen some news about uh, some social unrest, some demonstrations going on in the streets, some tensions. Perhaps you've seen, you've watched some videos about some violence happening in the streets between the police and some rioters, demonstrators, uh, protesters, however, however you want to call them. So I'm going to try to explain to you what's actually going on as far as I can probably uh, explain without getting into the roots of 200 or 300 years of Spanish history. So let's get into it and let's try to explain what's going on in Spain. So what's going on? That's the hard part, actually. Explaining why, I'll explain later. It's uh, even more simple than the what's going on. What's going on is uh, starting a few days ago uh, some uh, demonstrators showed up in front of the headquarters of the Socialist Party in Spain. Who took the decision to show up there? Well, people were actually called to be there in social media. Nobody is behind the first demonstrations that happened in Spain. As the days went by, uh, so more and more people started showing up, and obviously new groups started to show up. Some uh, political parties, I'll talk about that later, and some social groups, movements, and organized uh, groups that uh, are around anything that happens in the street. So what's going on? It's very simple. It's static demonstrations, at least until yesterday, static demonstrations of Spaniards showing up in front of the government's the Socialist Party headquarters, in not only in Madrid, but it's also happening in many other cities around the country. Um, how many people are gathering? It's hard to know, because obviously the Socialist government is not going to be giving you the exact numbers of those protests protesting against the Socialist government. By the way, incumbent Socialist government, as we had elections only a few months ago, uh, and we still have to decide who's going to be the next president, uh, the head of government, not the head of a state, that's the king. Uh, so we still waiting uh, for the election, which is done by the, the Congress, uh, of who is going to be the head, not of the government, not of the state, but head of the government. So, the incumbent government is not giving actual data, but we can uh, be talking safely in the thousands, tens of thousands in the case of big cities, several thousands in many medium and small cities. This is happening all over the country. And uh, people are showing up with the Spanish flags, traditional flags of older uh, periods in Spain. And uh, obviously, they are showing up with signs, handmade signs, uh, saying whatever they say. Because, again, there's no organization, as far as we know, so far, of these demonstrations. Has this happened before? Yes. Uh, as far as I can remember both uh, around the Congress, uh, both uh, ha there have been demonstrations in front of the stairs of Congress, there have been demonstrations in front of other political parties, like in 2004. 2004, there were demonstrations in front of the Partido Popular, that would be the center-right uh, party in Spain, which is the one that won the election, actually, it was the most voted party in the uh, July election, it was the Partido Popular, and they tried, uh, they went through the process of becoming uh, president of the government, uh, Mr. Uh, Feijo, but he didn't get enough votes. The, he didn't add up other groups in order to be the president. So now we're in between the new uh, round, which is uh, with Mr. Sanchez, who is in the Socialist Party. So have other uh, demonstrations taken place around uh, political party headquarters in Spain? Yes. Is that happening often? Not that often, but it has happened before. Why is this happening? Well, the reason this is happening is not only because a new 
head of government is going to be elected over the next few weeks, it's because of the negotiations that are going on. Let me let me explain this to you. In Spain, we have many, many uh, political parties. Remember, in the last election, the first uh, party in number of votes was Partido Popular, which is center-right uh, Partido Popular. The second was uh, Partido Socialista, which is socialist uh, party. That would be left. And then you have a right conservative uh, party, which was the third, which is uh, Vox, which is a recently uh, created party. And then you have the fourth, which is more of a, a, an amalgamated uh, group of uh, leftists, including from your communist party uh, to extreme socialists to uh, all the people that don't define themselves as communists, but basically leftists. And this is what we have. So... What's happening? That we also have a smaller regional independentist parties, both in uh, in three places, basically, which is up in the northeast, that would be in Catalonia, in the north, that would be in the País Vasco, that would be in uh, Basque Country, and the other one would be on the northwest, that would be in Galicia. M they are stronger in uh, in the north and in the northeast, that be in the Basque Country and in Catalonia, in the Basque Country, some of these parties are related to those who were in the terrorist groups that in the 70s, 80s, and 90s committed terrorism. They committed crimes like uh, hijacking, uh, like uh, killings, uh, selective killings, and, 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 and many other, and extortion of, of, of people. And on the Catalonian, even though they have a longer history of being uh, having a terrorist history, some of the uh, independentist groups uh, have that history of having uh, of coming from a terrorist party, but now what we have is uh, that all, even the right wing independentist uh, parties in in Catalonia, they all took part in a coup d'état that took place in two thousand seven. Some of those people ended up being uh, convicted and ended up in jail. The Socialist Party pardoned them, that meaning that they didn't. Uh, end their sentence in, in jail, so they were sent home, they were already pardoned. But what's coming now is that in these negotiations to make the socialist, Mr. Sanchez, president of Spain, again, because he's the incumbent president at the moment, they are, they are in negotiations to have an amnesty, a full amnesty. So those are still to be tried for those crimes that were committed, including street violence, street terrorism, organized uh, violence against the state, even those that are still pending or who run away from justice, they are asking for a full amnesty. And that would be the price to have a socialist government in Spain in the coming, in the upcoming weeks or months. And how is this happening? Well, this is happening with people showing up in demonstrations where nobody is in charge. This is important. They will they were very pacific. I mean, they were very, very peaceful in the in the in the in the in the days that they were basically spontaneous through social uh, networks. Some smaller organizations, some new organizations have appeared that are doing the convocatory. There is no security system, and they were very peaceful. I myself have been attending some of those uh, uh, concentrations, as I say, standing and basically people shouting or showing the signs that they want to show. I'm right now in the middle of the street, surrounded by people in downtown Madrid, very near to the uh, National Socialist Party headquarters in Madrid. As you can see, this is a spontaneous show of people uh, demonstrating in front of the PSOE National Socialist Party uh, headquarters to show uh, this is spontaneous demonstration. It's peaceful. It's very simple. What people are saying is that now they're chanting hasta los huevos. We quit. We are up. We we are fed up of what's going on. So that they are no, they do not agree with crime not being prosecuted by the law. That that's what uh, President Sanchez wants to do because he wants to uh, stay in government with agreements with terrorist groups, ex terrorist groups, and with people who conducted a coup d'état in Barcelona, in Catalonia, in 2017. And this is the people in Madrid, Spain. There are demonstrations all over the place in Spain. And this is one of the shows uh, that we can have today. 
Demonstrations have been going on for a few days now. People have been demonstrating peacefully for days now. And apparently the mood is that it's going to be continued to be happening soon over the next few days. Thank you very much. And I'll keep you As I say, people of all kinds uh, of oranges have been seen, and, and you can see the picture also, some of them, uh, in these concentrations. But something happened a few days ago, and it's that suddenly, in one of those peaceful demonstrations, tension ro arose and the police charge. It's been known that this charge of the police using smoke and other gases that still to be uh, clarified which kind of gases uh, were used, this attack against a peaceful demonstration uh, became uh, the top news in Spain uh, the day after that. They were ordered by the Spanish government and the Spanish officials, which are in the Socialist Party, against those demonstrating against the Socialist Party government, government, government and potential amnesty to get into the government. I know it gets complicated, but I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. It's more complicated than this. And then, the day after that, a new demonstration happened, more people happened, and in Madrid, because this is only happening in Madrid, all the other demonstrations have been peaceful and without incidents. The thing that happened here in Madrid is that after the peaceful demonstration that had tens of thousands of people... Suddenly, new groups starting showing up. We have uh, uh, social media influencers trying to conduct new ways of uh, of, of developing their their uh, their image. Uh, so they decided to show in a different place, take people from where the demonstration was taking place, and you know, going through all of Madrid to go into uh, to Congress and then back. And there were all the people that were standing there, like in the days before, and they were also starting to show up people that were coming from different, more extremist groups. Most of them coming from well-known groups that have been, for example, close link to uh, hooliganism in football, in soccer in Spain over the last few years. These are very well-known people for the police, and surprisingly, these people cannot get to a football stadium without being recognized and taken you know, to one side and being controlled in their access to the uh, stadium. But surprisingly, and this is a surprisingly uh, moment, uh, they were allowed to be in the middle of a peaceful demonstration with older people, younger people, uh, people that don't have anything to do with hooliganism or extremism, and at a certain time, again, violence broke. This time, it was not the police charging against the peaceful demonstrators. It was this time a fight, a clash between police and not peaceful demonstrations. But again, this was a very small group at the time starting the violence compared to all the people that had you know uh, had taken part in these uh, demonstrations <laughs> So just to explain this, now we have a big debate of that the demonstrations were not peaceful, that the demonstrations were violent. Well, the thing is, I'm going to give you an example. Every single weekend we have uh, soccer games in Spain. Does it mean that if a riot, if violence erupts, Right outside, I don't know, Santiago Bernabeu or Wanda Metropolitana in the case of, of Atletico de Madrid. If a riot after the game is finished starts and some, there are some clashes between hooligans, specifically these very people, because they have been recognized in the pictures and, the, and, 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 the, and in the recordings. If these very people have a riot outside, I don't know, Santiago Bernabeu for Real Madrid in the recordings, if these very people have a riot outside, I don't know, Santiago Bernabeu for Real Madrid, Madrid or Wanda Metropolitano, does it mean that the hundreds of thousands of people who attended, who cheered, who shouted inside the stadium are responsible for those that do, in a small group, very violent group, do whatever they do at the end of a game? Well, this is the debate. I don't think so. I myself don't think so. My explanation is that after the game, 
that being the peaceful demonstrations, the usual suspects showed up and did what they usually do, which is violence. So this is my explanation of what has happened over the last few days in the demonstrations in Spain. And now what? Well, hard to say. This gets more and more complicated because obviously now we have violence, extreme violence, peaceful demonstration, peaceful demonstrators. <laughs> different kind of demonstrations, new people showing up in order to try to, uh, uh, to, to lead this, um, this, this movement. We have had organizations, we have had some political parties, for example, Vox leaders showed up at one of the demonstrations, some ex-Partido uh, Popular members showed up at other demonstrations. Now, Partido Popular is uh, calling uh, their supporters to go to a different kind of demonstrations in another place. So it's getting more and more complicated. But the issue here is that, number one, there are negotiations between the Socialist Party and independentists that come both from a history of terrorism and with people who committed crimes that were judged, fairly judged, and they went to jail and they were pardoned. And they're negotiating with those very same people, same people, to have a full amnesty for those who ran away after committing those crimes and were not judged. So, what's going to happen? If I know my country, probably there are going to be many more demonstrations, there is going to be a lot of debate, and you know, whenever there are two Spaniards, you're always going to have three opinions. So this is only one of them. Go around, take a look, and ask yourself why many of the international media haven't given you the whole story that I'm giving you right now about what happened over the last few days in Spain. So this is Spain trying to explain Spain in simple and clear words. I'm Victor Sanchez del Real, and I hope that this helped you at least get a little insight of what, what's going on in Spain. So feel free, uh, in the comments obviously, down here, if you think that there's something that you don't really understand about Spain, I'm here and I'll be more than happy to explain, or to, as I say, to explain.